Hi, my name is Liz and this is Biz with Liz T. Today I want to talk about self-care. Why self-care you might ask? And what is self-care actually? Self-care is when a person looks after their own basic health needs without needing anyone else to help them. But why do we want to talk about self-care in the context of chronic illnesses? Nearly 50% of adults have one or more chronic illnesses. Self-care is considered essential in the management of chronic illness. So if you think about it, self-care can help you with your chronic illness and managing it. Self-care maintenance is defined as those behaviors used by patients with a chronic illness to maintain physical and emotional stability. It also helps with stress relief and people with chronic illnesses will know that doctors always tell them to avoid stress. Of course, easier said than done, we all know that we cannot all just push our stress aside and be like, okay, I'm not stressed anymore, thank you. Of course, it doesn't work like that. It's easier said than done. But I want to tell you or show you my self-care tips that helped me live with my chronic illnesses. And I hope there might be something that will help you too and show you how important self-care actually is and that you have to think about yourself eventually because no one else is going to do that for you. And it's very important not to be selfish, it's not about being selfish, but it's about setting your own boundaries and figuring out what helps you deal with the pain or the illness you are dealing with. My first self-care tip is if you do have a dog, take him on a walk. Take him on walks, listen to music, that's also another self-care tip. I love listening to music, singing to music. If you're embarrassed in front of other people, just go to your room and sing for yourself or find a place where you can be alone and sing. And maybe if you have a dog, you can just take him on a walk and listen to you to the music while you take him. Or if you don't have a dog, maybe you have another pet that you can take care of and that you can give all the love to that you have to give. Because before I got a dog, I didn't even know that it was possible to love an animal that much as I do with my dog. Since we talked about music already, I also really enjoy dancing and I don't think that you need to be a good dancer or a trained dancer to enjoy dancing. Really, it doesn't matter what it looks like. If you enjoy it, just go for it. I love listening to K-pop music and everyone in my family hates it. They hate that I listen to K-pop music all the time but you know what i don't care because it helps me i love the music and i love dancing to k-pop music <laughs> so if you enjoy something do it it doesn't matter if somebody else likes it enjoys it likes watching you or whatever if you enjoy it that's all that matters of course what also counts for me as self-care is in the bathroom i like taking baths or a good shower or doing even a mask, a lip mask, a face mask, it doesn't matter. It's just time for yourself. You are doing something good for you, only for you. You just get to relax and just be alone with your thoughts. And if that scares you, don't do it. Or listen to music or set up your phone and watch your favorite TV show. What brings me to the next point, I love watching TV shows and movies. I love binge watching and if somebody else tells you that you're wasting your time do you enjoy doing that yes then it's time well spent just because someone else is doing something that they enjoy and it's not watching tv yeah so what as long as you're still going outside and talking to people and doing your work and all that kind of stuff it's okay to binge watch from time to time of course, I know that traveling isn't really possible right now or not that easy as it was two years ago with everything going on in the world, but you could also do local adventures. Traveling is not just going abroad, it's also seeing what is in your area. Maybe you haven't seen a castle or just some hills, I don't know, some dunes anything that is in your surrounding that you haven't seen or maybe you have seen it but you still enjoyed 
could be your traveling. I know traveling is expensive and it is expensive outside of the corona bubble, but you could still enjoy just going to your par the park nearby your house. It doesn't always have to be, I don't know, the Maldives or Bora Bora. It's just go places you like and that are accessible to you. That's self-care for me as well. And if I find a place that I like, I will go to it many times. I don't care if it's in my area or if it's cheap. or <laughs> I don't know if I have been there 100,000 times. If I like it, I'm going to go there. And it's self poor self-care for me. And maybe you find a place like this for you as well. As you can maybe see, I'm wearing makeup. And I put makeup on for this video. I'm not going anywhere today. I have done all the errands I had to do without wearing makeup because I don't wear makeup on the daily basis. But I still enjoy doing my makeup. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I know that. But it doesn't really matter. I like the way I look and only I have to like the way I look. And the same way applies to you. Maybe you don't like it doing your makeup, maybe you like doing arts, um, I don't know, maybe you like knitting or whatever, it doesn't really matter, you just have to find something that you like. And if you like, for example, reading, I really enjoy reading and I also really enjoy doing some further education, it doesn't have to be a certificate that costs you millions or obviously not millions of dollars or euros or whatever, but still a lot of education is expensive and not accessible to a lot of people. So I like to watch educational YouTube videos, for example, they are totally free and you can learn something. And maybe if you enjoy watching YouTube videos, that could also be a combination of watching YouTube videos and doing education or doing further education. I also like pampering myself. I already told you that I like to do masks and stuff like that, but I also like to do my nails. I know they are not done right now because I didn't have the time to do it, but I still enjoy doing my nails. And if I have the time for it, I'm going to take the entire Sunday off and just do my nails, do nail art. I even did nail art in my days. It was a long time ago. But it doesn't matter. I did it. And there will be some proof to show you that I did nail art. I'm switching now to sustainable nail colors, nail paint. What is the word for it? It doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Because I want to be more sustainable. But nevertheless, sometimes self-care even means overlooking your principles. I try to not overlook my principles or just throw them out, but sometimes you just have to think about yourself before everyone else. And yeah, but I think sustainability and how I do it is a topic for another video. If you're even interested in that, if you're not interested, then that's fine too, of course. And last but not least, I know, I know is sports and yes a lot of people are going to tell you they hate sports they hate doing it and it's not self-care for them i get that but i do think that there is a sport for everyone out there they just need to find it for example i like to do yoga and stretching and dancing i was a professional dancer a long time ago if i think about it but I still enjoy dancing. I'm just not doing it as excessively as I did it a few years ago. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't do sport because someone else told you you should do it because it suits you, because you like it. And there's so many activities out there that you could do. So I think there's something for everyone out there and they just haven't figured it out yet. If you have any self-care tips, leave them in the comments, help each other out. And I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. See you next time.
Bye.